Brands and consumers have an unprecedented capability to create lots of content. Since it's so accessible now to be creating it, we've got to take advantage. 10, 15 years ago, it definitely wasn't commonplace to shoot 4K videos on our phones or post and distribute widely via social media. In 2005, for instance, if you needed to produce a commercial, you had to produce a commercial and spend tons of money on the publicity. Now it's as simple as shooting a short little video on your phone and distributing that via Facebook, a lot cheaper. And it doesn't matter where people find your messages, it matters what kind of and how much content you put out. That's what builds you up. And content is exactly what a media company focuses on. If you create content like a media company, you're focusing on fine tuning your brand's story and the message you wanna get across to your audience. So, of course, in 2020, there are a plethora of ways you can create content to do just that. You might have something in mind that you really want to say, a message you want to get across, but if you don't have one, you can document what it is you do with blogs, Q&A, podcasts, daily vlogs, selfies, anything. Taking a page out of a publisher or media company's book, it's good to freshen up your image and brand. Of course, if your product or service isn't good, this beautification is not gonna sell it. Really, it's about showcasing the true value of your business, no faking. For decades, businesses have had only limited space to get their message out. It cost a fortune and billboards were only so big, radio and TV spots were only so long. Now we can say whatever we want for as long as we want. But of course, there is a balance between quantity and quality that we must maintain. The advantage to being able to create lots of content is that we don't have to be sell, sell, selling all the time. We can create entertainment, education, and community. Your content doesn't even always have to be interconnected with your product or service. If that end result is bringing something good and of value to the audience, that's good content. That's what builds loyalty, shows your brand is made up of humans, and garners trust. The caveat here is that there's tons of content out there, and no matter how interesting or great yours is, it can be easy to feel like it's getting lost in the shuffle. Brands get around this by buying ads on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Google, and getting some reach from that. You're guaranteed at least views on your content and product or service by buying ads. That's a very simple process. The hard way is by creating something that is built to be viral, Sometimes by meticulous research on zeitgeist and pop culture, people can create content that demands attention and gets it. But there are other ways to demand attention that do not include crazy luck and calculation. Connecting with influencers, sending DMs, and networking on social media can help a lot. Collaborating on projects and giving out special deals and offers provides value to people. With all this buzz, people are more aware of your product and the close connections you form might promote you via social media or word of mouth, which is still a great form of promotion. And all this has an extremely small price tag compared to the money brands would shell out on advertising back in the day. But of course, you're doing the heavy lifting. Influencers won't post about you and people won't talk about you if your product or service isn't good or isn't a holy grail for anyone. Again, it's showcasing your value on the small and large scale talking the talk and walking the walk. So to keep up with the way the world of business and brand promotion works today, it's important to use content to your advantage and build up your brand. Build up the thing you want people to use to improve their lives and think like a media company. Thanks for checking out this video and take a look at the rest of our channel for much more.